Rama Nation, Chris Cobain here, and I am bringing you week 12 of the National Pokemon Association as the 9 and 1, I think. 9 and 1, Baltimore Blazikens go up against, I believe, yet again, 5 and 5, uh, Adelaide Umbreons and Coach Chris Selke. Um, first and foremost, make sure you drop some love for Chris on, on her Twitter and her YouTube and, and all that stuff. Um, honestly, 100% honest with you, I, she was absolutely 100% unknown to me before the NPA, um, but she has put on some hell, hell of, a, I can't speak, God, she's put on some crazy performances this year, uh, she came really, really close to beating Dan in, like, week two or something, she's, she is five and five, but a lot of her matches that she lost were, like, against, against these really good opponents, um, where she just barely sque you know, just barely lost. So she's played phenomenally all season. So mad props to somebody who I did not really know coming in and just, sh and just for me at least, shocking me and, and been absolutely phenomenal all season. Um, so, but she's a really good battler, as I've seen. Um, if you have not checked out the team builder for this week, make sure you do so. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Every time I do that, I point down, even though I'm not on webcam because I'm retarded. Just so you guys know that. A little bit of insight on me. Um... But make sure you check it out and uh, and check out what we're running and what she's got and why I'm absolutely terrified. Main thing here, she is competing hard for a playoff spot in her division, and she she would really it will really really like to win both um, to to get in there. And I'm already guaranteed, so she's got a little bit of incentive to win this over me. Um, and she's gonna be trying her ass off here. Garen, guaranteed, she's got everything on the line of the X2 matches, and uh, if I'm being a little honest with you, I'm kind of rooting for her, just, just a little bit, even against, just a little bit, so if I lose this match, one, if I lose this match, I've only lost to women, and it's obviously because I go easy on them, Or and two, uh... If I do lose this match, I'm actually going to be upset. I've already, I've already guaranteed my spot in the playoffs. That's where I want to be. Well, whatever seed I'm in, I don't honestly care that much. I just want to be in the playoffs. Um, in fact, if I don't get a bye week, like some people will, it could end up being more momentum for me going into it. Um, and uh, I'd like, I'd like to see her in the. I really would. I really would. I'm like, I'm like, kissing up really hard here for some reason. But I'd, re I'd really like to see her get in the playoffs. I feel like it'd be a really cool story. So, can't write this shit right. Anyway, we already sent the challenges, you guys probably noticed, because uh, I'm busy blabbering like a jackass over here. Alright, let's go ahead and pick a uh, music. I always pick music 9 and people yell at me, so uh, we're going to pick like music. I don't remember what music I picked last week either. It's just like the Jimmy Lee music, why not, right? Nice and basic. The one I start my stream off with every day. Why the hell not? Alright, let's see what she's running. I know Mega Gardevoir. I don't know Mega Gardevoir. Wow. Yo. I lied. Dude, what am I looking at? Every week I do this. I cannot I cannot believe she didn't bring Gardevoir. Oh man, Sub Drapion would have been so good. Oh well. Uh we didn't bring Sub Drapion cuz of Hyper Voice. Wow. I don't know what deterred her. Don't I really have no idea. I'm, I don't. I don't know what deterred her from wanting to bring that, unless she just feared Deancey because it can almost one hit it. I don't know. Anyway, let's take a look at the team, guys. We got Crook and Mence. Uh, both of them can be Intimidate or Moxie uh, Scarfers to try to sweep me. We got Scizor, So I 100% knew the the Mence, the Crook, and the Scizor, but I thought I 100% knew the Gardevoir too. So what the hell do I know? Uh, Polytoad, I was pretty sure on Rio Nicholas. I I figured it'd be a good option. Ronald Fan throws me off a lot. Um, but that's got a really hard potential to be, like, choiced. Um, my lead right here, uh, it looks like Krook is, or, is a rocker. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean, uh, that it's not choice scarfed. She has run, she has actually run scarf, um, rocks in the past. Huh, so my lead's gonna be Deancey here. That's 100% my lead right now, and we'll see how, we'll see how it goes here. I can mega in a lot of things, um... And just try to protect up so I can potentially scare from at least uh, potentially scare her from clicking rocks in the future. Maybe force her to go for something like her EQ. She leaves with not a fan, which is Rotom Fan. Um, 
So let's take a quick look at her team here. She doesn't have a switch in for Moonblast, really. Scizor makes a decent one, but can't really do a lot back to me. Um, so we're going to go and click Protect here. And this is a good chance for us to see, uh, to scout what kind of move she's going to go for. If she decides to, to do something weird here, she might decide to like switch out. I would disagree with a switch wholeheartedly here. Um, because it would risk way too much, because I don't actually need to click Protect here. In fact, I maybe not should have clicked Protect there. Maybe, maybe, nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. I wouldn't want to take a T-Bolt anyway. And I do have something in the back, obviously, for that in Garchomp. So. And that could definitely throw off a little bit. She could be predicting me to go into Garchomp right here on a potential choice set. Um, but we're not positive it's choice yet, of course, and it's a little too risky. She really might just switch, actually, though. It would make sense, actually. Looking back, it would make a little sense for her to switch, because... I could potentially stay in and just go for Diamond Storm and absolutely obliterate her, and she wouldn't want to lose Rotom Turn 1 here. I cannot believe, dude! These t Every week, every single week, I look at the team like, what happened? What is going on? When Dan didn't bring, like, Mega Supply or Entan, I was like, no, half my team's game playing for those. Oh, uh, no, guard. I'm really racking my brain. My only thought process is maybe she just feared just my outs my the things that outsped it too much. Dancy almost one hits it, Garchomp almost one hits it, so, uh Jirachi can speed tie, she did not switch. Jirachi can speed tie and one and directly one hit it. So what should go for here? We're we gonna see a volt switch or what? I'm gonna break off turn one, which is nice. We still go for volt switch. Uh, so we're gonna run I probably should I don't have the calc open because I'm stupid. Um, but we don't have any investment here, so you're going to hear me type here. I do this every week, I apologize. Uh, so we're going to calc Rotom, and I believe it caused a Rotom spin on this too. Yeah, we're going to calc the Choice Scarf set, because that's the only thing that I can outspeed me. Um, and we're going to calc it against Mega Dance and see how much a Volt Switch really does. Volt Switch does... These amount, these amount, not too bad. Um, it does... Uh... Excuse me, it does, uh, I can't even read, dude, what the hell? It does, like, 40%? Um, but she doesn't really have a switch in here. I mean, she's going to Scizor. Though she could also predict me to just directly switch. If she's choiced, she'll definitely be thinking about Garchomp right here. If she's not choiced, she'd go for, uh, she, she could potentially go for Willow. And if she is choice, she could potentially just directly switch, though I don't know if she would go right into directly to try to handle Garchomp. I think I think we're just gonna go at do I wanna go for Diamond Storm or I'm just Moonblast? How much does Moonblast do to this? I'm not running out a little time here, I need to pick a little faster. Moonblast does a solid amount. Diamond obviously obliterates, but if she does outspeed me and, and like Going to like the a physically defensive toad or reunion would be really annoying. Uh, I think the better play here is just going click Moonblast. That's what we're gonna do. She switches out directly. She predict me to go into Char to Garchomp and she goes into Roger, which I believe is her Poly Toad. And I don't think Toad can take two here. I don't think her Toad can take two right here. She's definitely choice on the road in two. Can it take two? Ooh, it can. Oh, it can decently, too. Uh, so let me calc that real fast. Let's see what kind of set she's running. We did about 40-ish percent, a little almost 50. Uh, and according... Okay, so she's not... Mm, she looks really specially defensive. She looks really specially defensive. It, 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 oh. All right. Rain's up. She's minus one, though. How much does Scald do? Scald can't kill me. Uh... If she's if she's max special defense here... No, I didn't do that much. I don't... I, I did more than that, though. I'm not calculating level 50. I need to be calculating level 50 at all times. I always forget that. Mm, no... But if she's that spread I just looked, I think my play is to go for balance. If she was max defense, let me count max defense. 
Uh, bowl 252. Just, I just want to see how much it would do if she wasn't invested. Oh, that seems all right, actually. I could have low rolled that. If she's got no investment, I end up doing about 50, almost a little under 50%. So I actually can't kill her, I don't think. You know what? I think she's physically defensive. My play here is to switch. Uh, question is into what? And uh, I could go into... Oh, this is a little tough. I could go into king. Um, my best play would probably be Leviathan and Gyarados, but it risks that burn, which would be absolutely crippling. And she can't kill me. Do I care if I have any health left? No. No, I really don't. The only thing is I don't want to be burnt. I really don't care if I have health left. I can't live any hit from the... I can't live a earthquake from either the Mets or the crew. Oh, shit. I, I ran out of time anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. I need to play better now. Okay, we're fine. I actually ran out of time right there. But it... it that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I think I was going to make that play anyway. I don't need any health. I didn't need health. The only thing I need health for now is the Rotom, who I, who I, I absolutely am positive is choice. Because she definitely predicted physically defensive. She definitely just predicted Garchomp. Yeah, we're just going to Moonblast again. Take it out. I think we pick up a kill here. Unless she wants to... No, she's going to save it. At like no health. It's kind of weird. She'll go into Scizor. But Scissor's going to take a lot of damage here, and we have a very good switch right now. We have an absolutely 100% phenomenal switch, actually. Typical Scissor set, it looks like, there. And now we just switch into, into Gyarados here. I do not fear anything. Easy play. No no timer stall needed. I'm going to have Rain up. I don't have Waterfall, actually. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Uh, I wish I did. I don't want to go... I, uh, I could probably sub up here. Depending on what she clicks, I could definitely potentially sub. And then, like, Dragon Dance, potentially. Or, like, catch that Rotom with an Ice Fang, maybe as well. I know that Rotom's choice. The, qu the There's no way she switches there, I don't think. If she's not, there's not really a reason to. In my opinion, anyway. You know, it's funny looking at this Choice Scarf, uh, Choice Scarf, um, Garchomp would have made a lot of sense on this team, because I did, we didn't bring it because of Mence and Guard, uh, both, are immune, being immune to both of my stabs. She doesn't actually have a Dragon Claw or an Outrage switch in. If, if, like, man, that's kind of, that's kind of sucky. She probably fears Hidden Power to some effect, too. And she might, I think she'll just go right for Bullet. We'll be able to check its, its set here. We'll get the Intimidate off. And then she'll go for Bullet. No, she goes for you. Ooh, risky play, but it worked. Okay. And it does uh, 45 damage, so... Uh, let's see, let's see. Gyarados. Um, right against a Scizor. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, my wife sneezes. Uh, we're gonna go with offensive sword dance here. Make sure the level 50 and see what 45 damage means here. This one doesn't actually have a U-turn. I need a U-turn. Bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Uh, U-turn. No. No, it's not. It's not just basic. It did more damage than it should have. Goes on a Rotom. That's absolutely fine, actually. That's kind of a weird play, I feel like. I kind of feel like that's a weird play. Hmm. Okay. Um. I t oh, I cocked Mega Scissor anyway. I'm not. Ah, shit. Need to. Need to get on my game, boy. I'm off of it. U turn. Uh, where's the HP? It does. Yeah, I think it's banded. Pretty sure it's banded. I'm pretty sure it's banded. It did 45 exactly, and, and the roll's uh, 39 to 47. That looks banded to me. Uh, the chances that she sits here and goes for an electric attack are so minuscule right now that I don't even want to switch. Um, I kind of want to switch into Jirachi, because I don't want to take, like, a choice Willow. Hmm, tough play. Tough play. I know she's choice, though. 
Rotom can trick. I wouldn't care about a Choice Scarf at this point on Hammer, though. In fact, I'd welcome it. The only thing I fear is it going for freaking... What's it called? Which I really suck. Let's do it. I'm going to make the risk. It's somewhat of a risk here. If she goes for an electric attack, though, we're in a fantastic spot. But I really doubt she does that. I would be absolutely, absolutely shocked to see an electric attack come through here. No, she goes for Willow. She made a good play. There you go. Could have gone to Deancey there and absolutely smack something. She made a really good play right there. Is my play a set of rocks right now with Mets up on the field? Now Burnt. I can drop a Draco too. She doesn't know I'm ma I'm on my only physical attacks actually. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna set up rocks right here. Cause we know she's locked into that right now. Could have Scizor, but if Scizor comes in it can't defog, and I think it's banded anyway. I'd really love to chip that Mets. Yeah, let's set up rocks here. We set up rocks. That's fine. She doesn't know I'm carrying Draco and Fire Blast. My only, my only physical attack is Earthquake, and it's almost worthless right now. It was almost worthless anyway. It was literally for Gardevoir. That's almost it. So we could kill the Gardevoir with our Intimidators. It actually makes more sense for me to just go for something else. It goes into Politoed, which is fine. Um. Watch this truck be choice scarfed right now and hit me. Actually, no outside with DNC. That'd have been cool though. Sets up Stealth Rocks now, so she can't really come back in on this. She could try, but it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um. And we can just go ahead and go for Earthquake. If she missed, if she wants to make a switch, she can make a switch. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. And I don't want to reveal. I really don't want to reveal my special moves yet because it'll it'll alert her that my, this burn doesn't scare me as much as it otherwise would. And she will let Roger die. So we're gonna go and take off the first death of the game, and uh, Polito will go down to Garchomp. That is the first kill, which is nice. And we did not have to reveal anything there. It might be her play right here to switch into like an Intimidate variant of Mints and try to set up Dragon Dance. That that really actually might be her play. And if she does that, I will kill it 100% of the time. If she goes into Crook or Ments, I'm going to stay in and scout for Choice Scarf. 100%. If it is like Choice Scarf Ments, then I can I can get, almost guarantee myself a kill with uh, Deancey again. Goes into Mama Crook. Goes into Mama Crook, so... Isn't Intimidate, it is. So that kind of deters a Choice variant. But we're going to stay. I said we're going to stay in. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go ahead and drop a Draco on this. I don't. If I kill this, I don't need him for, for what this. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Draco's my play. One million percent right here. She does not know what I, what's about to happen to her. Earthquake may kill me, and depending on how offensive he is, but he's not a Moxie set, so it doesn't. I don't fear it too too much here. But if he's not Choice Scarf, she can't outspeed me, and I'm gonna hit this like an absolute train. And then I can just go back and Deancey and, uh, and absolutely obliterate something else. With Rocks up, her Rotom switching, her Rotom coming in constantly just is becomes less and less relevant. I lose my Thunderbolt switch in, which kind of is poop. Just a little bit, but I don't fear that thing enough to care. And she might... Oh, she is scarfed. Okay. And that will not pick up the kill. That's huge. That's absolutely that's absolutely huge here. And here comes the Draco, and that's going to hit like an absolute truck. Hmm, she took that decently. Took it a little better than I expected, but... Garchomp will go down there, picked up the kill. Which is fine. We know it's Choice Scarf now. We know he's locked in a knockoff. And, um... It might still kill Deancey, so it doesn't make any sense to go into Deancey. Let me see. Let me calc Scarf Adamant to for the best possible roll. Scarf Adamant would make no sense here, but still, it's, it's better than nothing. And we know it's got knockoff against Mega Deancey. 
Uh, mix attack or knockoff. Make sure the level 50. I am minus defensive nature though. And it does... 35 max. And I have 33, so no, that's not my play. Go with a headache here. Go with a headache here and potentially pick up the kill as well. Um, but I think my play is just to go in to get over here and just pick up the kill, I, I guess. Um, hmm, honestly, another, another kind of difficult play for me. She'd have to super high roll, but God knows my luck, dude. I didn't have any HP investment on Dancy. I could definitely pick up the kill with Headache here because she's not going to predict my Culber Berry. Nah, that's just going to get over here. If I miss Aqua Tell, I'm going to be mad, though. <laughs> she have a switch in for Aqua Tail in the rain? No. No, not really. Okay. That would be a weird play. She may want to stay in, though. But if she ever goes for Earthquake, then it's just going to lock Gyarados to sweep her. She does switch. She's going to switch into a Rain Boost at Aqua Tail here. And she goes into, uh, she actually goes into Salamence. Which is okay. So we see the Intimidate on that as well. Again, steering clear of a potential Choice Scarf set. And we do very little because of obvious reasons there. But we didn't have to take any damage, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna go and jump into Slow King here and see what, she, uh, see what she decides to click. And then I can I can scare things out with some Ice Beam Spam potentially here, or I could potentially go for Trick Room. Little little overly risky to do it for Trick Room there I feel. But uh, potentially though maybe. Cause I don't fear the Reunipolis at all. The only thing is, could I trick around here? If that rain screwed off, I could. With the rocks up, 252, I wonder if an ice beam would OCO. Uh, offensive trick room, yep. Trick scald, uh, we actually have ice beam instead of Psy Shock. And Rotom Fan. Uh, we know which choice scarfed. Ice Beam? Yeah, Ice Beam can pick up the kill. 65%. Ugh, a little risky, but... She went switching to it anyway. What'd she go for here? Go for Dragon Dance, maybe? Oh, she went for Crunch! I'm so glad I had that Culber Berry right now. And a crit, though. And lowered my defense, so I obviously can't take another one. It's life orb. Rain does screw off there, which is nice. Hmm. Solid play, though. I'm trying to think here. Better team. I don't need Gyarados. Well, there's Scarf Crook and Scarf Rotom, too. No, I don't need. We're gonna go Leviathan here. It stops it from being able to Dragon Dance, and I can kill it with Ice Fang. And then, it, if nothing else, it allows me a free switch. Scizor is gonna be a problem if this dies, but I'll, that's, that's, I can still handle it, so it's not that big a deal. Goes for another Crunch, a second one here, which I didn't actually see coming, but we'll take it because it, it obviously it's not gonna kill. We know this thing is uh. I wish I could be able to take two. I really do. But I can't. I know I can't take two. So we're just going to go Ice Fang and pick up the kill here. Uh oh. Please don't die. Oh, if I die, I lose. If I die, do I lose? Who do I have left? Not quite. Almost, though. If, if I die, I almost lose. I for, it's my Earthquake switch in. For the Scarf crew, it's my Earthquake switch in. I don't have one anymore. I've, I have, uh... I have, I have, if that's the case, I literally have to win the Slow King. I, that's my only chance. If this dies right here. If I even have one health, it's fine. Because it, I can stop Earthquake. I only need one health. 
And it is minus one. I could also almost with, with Dancy if I went for frickin' rock polish, but that's Ray Nicholas is in my way though for that. Okay, we'll see what happens. This isn't uh, it's, it's not a it's not too bad yet, but that I, this is this is I didn't think that through very much. That's a misplay on my part. I'm I'm, I'm glad I'm realizing it though. That's what I need to I need if when I make mistakes I need to realize that I made a mistake and I did here. Because this was my response. But if I even carry literally one health, that all I need is one health and I'm fine. Because I'm obviously infinitely immune. She actually switches out and that's phenomenal for us. She will go into Guillotine again. Which is actually going to be the Scizor, which is somewhat of an odd play. And I should be able to, no doubt, take it out with Bounce here. Uh, so, um, Mm, can I take you out with a bounce? All these calcs today, man. Uh, we are max attack Gyarados. Uh, so we are going to calc offensive Dragon Dance, 52 attack. We are jolly, though. Uh, and we're going to calc bounce against a regular Scizor. No, we can't kill the bounce shit. Hmm. How much does a knockoff do, I wonder? It kills. It kills easily. Bounce doesn't pick up the kill. Well, that's a max HP scissor, though. I'm pretty sure she's banded, though. I'm almost guaranteed to be, for her to be banded here. The real question is, what does she click? I'm gonna go for it here. This is this is another super risk. We're gonna go for it. Chris is playing this very well. I'm not surprised even a little bit though, so. The one thing she did do just now though that I just realized. Oh she went for you turn! That's fantastic! She still won't pick up the kill. She overplayed that. I could have killed it. That's weird. Okay. She can go on a Rotom here. She, one thing, well, the one thing she did do, I just realized now, is she let, is, is, Mensa's almost dead to rocks completely. Which is actually kind of weird to think about. I didn't, I didn't notice that. She almost insta dies to rocks at this point. She can only get off one more attack with it, if, if anything. She does make the play to switch out here. And she will jump into not a fan, which is again that Rotom. Uh, but again, we're going to see that rocks damage kick in right here. And, ooh, that's booty. That's booty. That's some straight booty. And she has no reason to not Volt Switch. So. <coughs> <coughs> She's going to Volt Switch. And then she's gonna go into Kruk. And then she's probably gonna Earthquake. Oh man, that's booty. That's some booty right now. That's some hardcore butt. That miss sucked. It would have done a ton, but oh well, I guess. It's fine, I guess. Oh well. La 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 la. Let's see. She's gonna Volt Switch. 100% she Volt Switches here. Uh, I think I have to go into Mega Wish. Show it off for the first time. That's some booty. 90%. Oh well, that's fine. She had no reason not to there. Didn't do a ton though, so that's alright. And I think we actually have the ability to go right back um, into Mentor, or uh, Garrett is here. Um. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna intimidate it. We don't. We, I don't think we die to one knockoff. And that's all I need to know. That's all I care about. If I don't die to one knockoff, I can double back. I can pivot right back into Drapion. And she tries to kill me, and then and then guarantee a kill. Literally guarantee myself a kill with a knockoff. 
something will die 100% for that, so that's fine. And if she goes for Earthquake, uh, uh, then I can just go and click Ice Fang again, which is fine. And she goes for, I'm assuming Knock Off here, it's a better play. She knows that's a better play. Yep. Told you guys, she's good, man. She's good. Actually, I love another one. <laughs> I live another one. That's Ice Fang here. She want a Scizor again? No, she want a Ryu. Okay, that's fine. Again, I just need any health at all. We do absolutely nothing as max defense. Um, we see the leftover set too, so that's all right. And uh, my play is one million percent to switch into Crookedile right here. Or Crookedile. <laughs> I wish. Uh, and the Drapion right here. So we're keeping Gyarados alive. We gotta remember the leftovers are now gone, so that kinda sucks. She does actually stay in. I wasn't 100% positive she would. She's playing this very well. And she will go for... Infestation. Whoa. Okay, I see you, dog. I see you. Calm down. The question here is, does she switch out? And what would she switch out into? Hmm. I figure, I figure she's gonna switch. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. She doesn't want to take this. She knows. She knows. I'm gonna Swords Dance. If she switches, I don't take infestation damage. She just switch. And get into what though? Into meds. Huh, okay. Not even a little bit what I expected, actually. She was gonna sack it and I let her. I didn't I didn't uh sh I should have knocked her. Damn it! That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. That's okay. That's alright, no worries. No, no one panic yet, okay? Everyone calm down. It's going to be okay. I promise. I still need this. I can't afford to let this die. So how much do I need? The antsy right here. She can't switch out of this anymore. So so I should probably keep Dancy alive at least for this portion of it. I'd still like, yeah, I'd still like what's his face. Huh? Tough. It's tough right here. She could 100% go for Earthquake right now and, and basically kill me. Alright, I'm gonna make this play. Here we go. Here we go. Crazy ass pivots. Went for EQ, cool. Okay. So it did go for that, which is fine. Doesn't quite die though. And now I gotta make a play. I'm uh, make a decision. She she's gonna go for most powerful attack. Actually, do I need Deancy after this? No, I'm going to Deancy. If this dies the Life Orb, it die it, it loses the Crook, Scizor, and Rotom. So no, good 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 decision, Chris. This is actually a really smart play. If she kills me, she dies too, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Does she go for Crunch or does she go for Outrage? Like, I think she might. She went for Crunch. Okay. Do I even live that? Yes, actually. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it's fine. She dies. So, Mets goes down. That's good. And now her play is, uh... 
is to go into a, into well anything but Nicholas here really. They kill me. Uh, it's suicided, and so life orb suicide is what that's considered, I think. And by the league, I have to keep that in mind that it died by suicide. Most damage it did to itself was like through rocks. So I mean, Garchomp did the most of the work there. Rocks coming in handy. Her player should really, I think, be Crook. But even Crook's a little risky. We'll see what she clicks. Goes into Crook, yeah. So, there's no reason. Obviously, this is choice dropped. I don't. I have no reason to make a prediction here. I don't need this anymore. So, my only play is to hope she like makes a really weird play and, and switches out. We're just going to go for Moonblast and we will die. What a match right now. What a match right now. This is ridiculous. Goes for Crunch. <clears throat> she has Crunch and Knock Off, okay. Can't believe that Mance ran Crunch, man. That was kind of... That's That was a smart decision on her part. Very well played. And uh, with Crunch, knowing that's the play, we can go into this. And I think we get a kill now. I think we're guaranteed a kill at this point. I'd love it for, be, for it to be Crook, uh, because that would allow me to play with Gyarados a little better. Um... But no matter what, I'm pretty sure we pick up a kill at this point in time. Yeah, she'll let a crew die, so. That does absolutely nothing because we're bulky. And you are 100% going to die to this. <laughs> yep. Cool. Alright, Drapion picks up a kill. What else is new, man? That guy always puts in work. Need to keep him alive right here, though. 1 million percent because he's still very important for that Ryu Nicholas. Uh, so we cannot let this die just yet. Uh, we do have leeway now to sack, potentially. Um, Gyarados, she goes into Rotom. So I need a lot of HP. Her play is, again, to probably click Bolt Switch here. Um... And at his HP, I don't really fear, and especially when I'm, I'm pretty sure he's banded. So we're just going to go and go into Leviathan, yeah. <clears throat> this is my play. <coughs> Again, she'll, we're just trading back and forth, man. Just constantly. Every turn's a trade-off. I'm picking up the kill, then she's taking one right back. So this is neck and neck right here. Super misplay and click trick for some reason. Right now. Do it. Cress, I believe in your misplays. Nah, Bolt Switch 1,000 bajillion percent right here, Bolt Switch. No, just Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fine. Alright, just jumps for the Thunderbolt there. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, Rotom. Spin. Against. Choice Scarf. We're going to assume Timid. That makes the most sense. Thunderbolt versus a Jirachi. And we're just going to calc Choice Scarf because I don't have any bulk, actually. I have literally none. And her Thunderbolt does 40-something percent. That's a lot. That's a little annoying. Uh, how much HP do I have left? I'm missing what? Math, Chris. 45 health. Let's go into Jirachi here. We are max special attack. So we calc. 252 special attack here. Timid. Uh... Timid uh, and Calc Thunderbolt. That's my best play on this right now. Versus the Rotom. And that does not nowhere near enough, actually. Alright, Calm Mind it is. We're Calm Minding. That's gotta be the play. We can take another one. We're fine. Fantastic. Alright. Uh. Huh. Did we win? Maybe. Nah, probably not. Actually, close, but probably not enough. Not probably not quite here. Because he's still gonna outspeed me, yeah. So we'll probably die to bullet punch. We definitely kill it now, though. Unless we like super low roll, in which case, fuck. I wish I had healing right here. Does a good chunk there, and we should take it out right here. Yeah, fair. Cool. Alright. 
All right, cool. So now her play would be to go for bullet punch. Um, on Scizor, that most definitely kills right here, I'd have to guess. Um, I really would have to guess that kills. I can't imagine it. Li I live it. Uh, bullet does... 51, 42 to 51, and yeah, it's way more than enough, so that's going to be your play right here. Should I save it? Does it matter if I save it here at all? Not really. Okay. Um, let's go for Thunderbolt and see if she misplays. No, okay. Cool. All right. And I'm almost positive it's banded, so my play is Slow King here. If she's not banded, uh, good game. Pretty much. Because right now, my play is to predict the band. I'm pretty sure she's banded. And if she's not, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to make the play and just pray. She's, what, she's banded, cool. And uh, we sword Zance here because he can't kill me, and I can't kill him at plus zero anyway. So if I don't kill him here, if 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 I uh, I have to make the sword Zance play. Thank God I was aware it's banded. If I kill this, I win 100%, even with one health, because he's gonna be forced to bullet punch. It stayed in as long as I don't die. I think I win. No, I'm fine. I think I got her. Pretty sure I got her here. This will do nothing. Absolutely zero. And that's her best play. Which is absolutely phenomenal for me. And I'm pretty sure it's GG now. I don't think it can take this. I'm way too strong. Or should be anyway. You'd, you'd imagine. It should not be able to take one. Nope. Drapion is the freaking MVP. Constantly at GG. Boys, it's over. I think I, I, as long as it is in fact Choice Bandit Scizor, I caught her. She's going to have to bullet punch and I'll finish her off a flamethrower. Absolutely phenomenal game by Cress. Man, oh. Wow, yeah, here comes the bullet. It will pick up the kill on Drapion. Drapion will die. Way to go, Drapion. You pulled through again, man. And actually, actually, we count this. If it's not Bandit, I live a U-turn. It's over either way, I think. I knocked off its Bandit one point in the test runs. We'll see her click that bullet, though. There it is. That's going to be the game. Oh, what a Cress. Cress is so, oh, such a good battler. I caught her on the double. What a game. And we will pick up a narrow 1-0 victory with Slow King securing that final kill. Whew. What a game, dude. I'm so hyped for that one. Save that, of course. <coughs> and that, boys, is another victory for your Baltimore Blazing as we will extend our record to, I believe, 10-1 and now with one game left in the regular season. Uh, I believe that's against uh, the Huntsville Hounds, I believe they're called, and, and Coach Cyber Nightmare. Um, but uh, that means that means we just keep, continue steamrolling further into playoffs. What a phenomenal game played by Cress. Like I said, make sure you show some love to her, man. She's such a good battle. You saw it there. She made so many really good plays there. Her team building was absolutely fantastic. Uh, running things like crunch on on men some I did not think about just just was really good the one thing that threw me off I've, I've mentioned before no mega guard of which I thought was odd, but um, I'm sure she had a reason for it everything on her team really put up put up some uh, put up work on that one um, basically everything 
aside from really the reuni, but it's because I had a hard counter to it. I knew it was gonna run Shadow Ball. Um, but uh, she played it. She played that game uh, really, really well. And props to her for her fantastic season. She's not out of the playoffs yet. Um, so I really, I, I'm, I really hope she does make the plus. I think it'd be cool. But that's it for this week, guys. As I said, your Blazikins will move on to an, uh, a 10 and one record now. One game left in the regular season. We are steamrolling our way into the playoffs. If Vump maybe messes up, slips up here, maybe we can go into the number one seed for the entire uh, conference, which would be awesome. But we're not looking that far ahead yet. We're looking for the fact that we are number two in the conference right now. We're number two in the division as well. We're looking at a bye week going into the playoffs. Um, as long as I can win the next week, we will guarantee a bye week. It will be great because I need one. Melly needs one. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, that should be... I'm trying to think of an outro here. Again, good game to Cress. And that's it for week 12 of the NPA, guys. Next week will be the final week of the regular season. Week 13 coming through as we try to finish our season on a high note. Make sure you guys are there for that as well. Um, and thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. I appreciate it. I will see you guys in the final, uh, final week of the regular season, all right? Uh, peace, Rob Nation. Love you guys. Thanks for the support, guys.